Well, Steve, we spoke to District Attorney Andrew Robinson, who says many of these threats could be a trend and the people behind them, as we mentioned, could face felony charges. The number of school threats are on the rise and law enforcement officials are concerned. If it continues at this pace, uh, I'm not sure what else um, we can do. Some say sending a message about threatening messages and the time, money and energy spent on long investigations could be a start. If young people uh, persist in doing this, they are going to feel the wrath of the criminal justice system. A system that several students could soon face. The conduct itself uh, would be the equivalent of a felony uh, when somebody makes a statement that's designed to have the school building evacuated. District Attorney Andrew Robinson says the juvenile system is designed to rehab youth, but the behavior and the impact on fellow classmates won't be ignored. Uh, and those kids are talking to their parents and they're talking to their other friends about fear, and there's got to be a consequence for that behavior. And that's not going to be lost on judges, and it's certainly not going to be lost on prosecutors. He says juvenile courts have significant penalties for crimes, from a short stay to a sentence up to the offender's 21st birthday. It could even be moved over to criminal court. And prosecutors and law enforcement say they'll keep pursuing, even as the, quote, copycat threats continue. We treat every single one of these, even when they say after the fact, just kidding. No, they weren't just kidding. They made these statements, and they are going to be held accountable. That's right, and there is a possibility, as we mentioned, for those charges to go from juvenile court to criminal court. It's a process that's rare, but it's possible. It would depend on a number of factors, but still, the teens could at minimum face a sentence with the juvenile detention center if convicted of their version of the felony. In the studio tonight, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.